Well, a school quiz given to fifth graders in Texas is sparking outrage. The quiz asked students why the United States might be a target for terrorism. And even worse is that the correct answer there was B, the one that seemingly blames the U.S. for terror attacks. Kara Sands is a son in the class where that test was given. She joins us now. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm great. Good. So when you Thank first you. saw this test and you saw the answer, that America was blamed right. for 9-11 and that we deserved the attack. How did that make you feel? Oh, it's angry, very angry, and surprised that it came from my son's school. Because and we're more of a conservative school and from Texas, and so, yeah, I was angry and shocked and just, like, I think any other parent. Yeah. I, I, in case people so, and, well, and I asked him as well, but I asked my son, and I, and I said, you know this isn't true. He goes, oh, mom, I know that terrorists are evil, but I wanted to get 100, and that's what the man said. Oh, that's so interesting. That's, oh, so really? I mean, he even okay. he knew what the right answer oh. that the teacher was looking for. And let me read that, by the way, so that people at home can right. understand. Decisions that we made in the U.S. that negatively impact people everywhere. That was the answer for why mm -hmm. we are yeah. hit with a terrorist attack. What did you do, Kara? Right. Uh, did you call the teacher, the school? What happened? Yes, I went up to the school. Well, I called the principal. And so after I went up to the school, and I met with the teacher and the principal, and they showed me the video. And after watching the video, it's, it's, a, little, it's a little worse than that. Just the statement in itself, it, go, it talks about how we're big and powerful and we don't always use our power the right way, how a lot of people think that. Hmm. So really, it prefaces that with we're a bully. And it's, that watching that I just got a knot in my stomach mm -hmm. and I thought how are you showing this to our kids are you kidding me now is this an so, isolated incident I mean Texas is a pretty conservative state the curriculum down there is it just right. this test or are there other things that they're teaching no. the students too oh and unfortunately it's not this was part of a safari montage is one curriculum then there, there's so many different ones. Like for instance, I have twins that are in the third grade. And a couple of weeks ago, I took them up from school, and one of them starts singing, if we work together, we can change the weather. Go green. Forgive my singing voice. And <laughs> nice rendition. I asked, did you? Thank you. And I asked, I said, Where, what are you talking about? And my other twin said, you're not a wizard. You can't change the weather. Well, they had gone to see, for Good Choice Club, mind you, uh, uh, Magic School Bus, a climate challenge, mm. which is an inconvenient truth for kids. Ooh. And it was through the school. And they had to pay $2, so you're paying for this propaganda. But it's, it was you know, that we're bad, don't use gas, that gas is bad. There's also a big <laughs> attack on natural gas and oil in Texas. Shocking. You can believe that. And then there was another yeah. question, uh, apparently on a worksheet from your kids, that talked about the Bill of Rights, and it named food and medicine as well, it was, fundamental rights. Right. Right. Well, it talked about the lesson. The teacher talked about, well, food, medicines. asked my son, why did you get this wrong? Because he had put uh, basic rights in as my responsibilities, as a T-chart, instead of my rights. And then he got that wrong because it should have been, according to the lesson, my response, uh, yeah, my rights. Unbelievable. And I asked him, well, wh how did they teach you? What did they say? And he said, well, food and medicine and shelter. But that also is C-scope, and they have since changed that. Okay. Changed that curriculum. Now, yeah. next step right. here, okay, but, so there's a school right. board meeting coming up. What do you expect to right. happen? What do you want to see happen? You think there's going to be a lot of fireworks at this school board meeting? I, you know what, I hope not. I don't want people coming out with their pitchforks. We're not going and we're not, you know, trying to burn everyone at the stake here. We just want to take back our schools. And parents, we have to stand up. We want, you know, C-scope out. We want safari montage. Oh, and another thing is I went to speak to the administrator about the video, mm -hmm. and she told me, she said, I don't see what's wrong with it because it's right. Wow. Well, she's wrong. Yeah, so, so she believed... She is wrong, and I agree with you. And she said that she would, she could not justify pulling the video because one parent mm -hmm. wanted it. So that's one of the reasons I posted it because I thought, okay, I'm one parent. Let's get more parents. Yeah. So and, and you're accomplishing that. Uh, Kara Sands, let us know what happens at the yeah. school board meeting. Thanks so much. I will. I will. Thanks.